this is Allie Cat from the DAT Destroyer um, Facebook group. I'm a D1 at University of Buffalo and I'm here on my spring break to uh, visit Dr. Jim Romano and make a video. This video is going to be very helpful for the DAT and on your biochemistry uh, for your first year in dental school. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the DAT Destroyer book and the Orgo Man products. I want to go over a really solid question with you today that I haven't really addressed, and that's amino acids and proteins. So let's have a look at a species that has nine amino acids in it. Notice if it's got nine amino acids, there's going to be eight peptide bonds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That's always a good question. Now, this has nine amino acids, so we call it a known a peptide. Now, what I want to do is I want to find the charge on this known peptide at a pH of 5 and at a pH of 8. Now, the first thing I do is I give you the pK values of all the species that need addressing. Now, the left side is always the N terminal and the right side is always the C terminal. So I'm going to put an NH3 plus on the left side and a COOH on the right side. Now, the amino group of the alpha amino group of glue, which is glutamic acid, has a pKa of approximately 9.5. Then I go over to the side chain of histidine. That would be a 6. Then I look up the pKa of the side chain of tyrosine. That's 10.5. And then we go to the pKa of arginine. That's 12.5. And then COOH is the alpha carboxy group of, of glycine. Now, the first thing we want to do is to make sure you understand when you're at a pK value, what that means. pKa, say for instance, of 2.4. That means that when the pH reaches 2.4, 50% of those H's are gone. So that means half of them is in the form of COOH and half of them would be COO minus. So anything beyond this number would be more in the direction of the anion, COO minus. So if we go to here now, we go to a pH of first five. Well, first of all, nothing is happening here till 9.5. So as you can see, um, at 4.1 is when we lose 50% of these. So if you're at five, You've deprotonated, excuse me, them. So we have COO minus. Notice when that add the pKa of histidine yet. So at five, it's still protonated. We don't do anything here. We don't do anything to arginine. Arginine, nothing much is going to happen till 12.5. And obviously at five, we've we've really deprotonated this. So it would be mainly in the COO minus form. So adding them up, you got a plus one, minus one, plus one, plus one, and a minus one. So what does that give me? It's a plus three, minus two, so that gives me an overall charge of plus one. So that means at a pH of five, we would have a plus one. Now let's raise the pH to say something like we would see eight, like the small intestine. And a pH of eight, well, first of all, we go back to here, Nothing much is going to happen till 9.5, so this stays protonated. This guy is long gone, and if you look here, we put a minus sign on it. That left at 4.1. pKa of 6, so obviously if this deprotonated, 50% left at 6 at 8, that's pretty much gone, so that's neutral now, right? If you take away this plus charge, you have the side chain of histidine. The imidazole ring now has a neutral charge. Nothing is happening on the side chain of tyrosine till 10.5, so you keep that. Arginine, that, nothing happens there till 12.5, and then finally, this is long gone. This started deprotonating 50%, deprotonated at 2.4. So add them all up, you have a plus one, minus one, plus one, minus one, and therefore we get a charge of zero. If you remember the charge of zero puts us at the isoelectric point. So if I had to approximate the PI of this nonopeptide, nonopeptide, I would say that the PI is approximately equal to eight. Um, 
Make sure you understand this. This is on every medical school exam, every biochem exam. For the dad, I don't think you'll get anything this hard, but you know I love overkill. Um, there's a company out there that always says my work is overkill, so why don't we give a shout out to these morons who think that my work is overkill, and for those that really want to excel, I want you to use this problem and maybe make sure you really understand the concepts. All right, guys, good day to you. Bye-bye.